Michigan, Stanford, Oklahoma, and USC. All those games were major tests for Notre Dame, and the Irish aced them all. Their biggest challenge, however, awaits Monday in Miami, and it's where we find our man, Joe Whalen. He joins us now live. And, Joe, uh, most of the talk today centering around Notre Dame's young quarterback, Everett Golson. Yeah, Glenn, absolutely. Uh, the Irish had their final practice open to the media today. No surprise was Golson taking most of the snaps with the first-team offense. But remember, go all the way back to fall camp now, and Golson's spot as a starter was anything but certain. And even when he earned that spot, there was a little bit of controversy as Tommy Reese had to come in a couple of times and save the day late. But... It was that win over the nationally ranked Sooners in Norman, Oklahoma, that solidified Golson's place as this offense's leader. Now he's turning his attention to the Tide. We're obviously the underdogs coming into this game, um, but I think you know that uh, kind of really uh, uh, displays you know what we're talking about. You know, going into this game, you know, Alabama has a, you know, like I said, a great defense, great team, um, bigger, faster, you know, stronger. Um, but, you know, it, it's really about, you know, who, who's going to endure to the end and, you know, play, you know, hard for four quarters. Take any other quarterback this year and try to figure out if they've gone through as much as Everett Golson. To me, it's not even close. I mean, not even close. If you look at game by game, you know, and for our football team, we're pretty battle tested. They've been told 12 straight weeks that they weren't good enough to get this far and somehow we're sitting in front of you guys answering questions. So he, he's pretty battle tested. It's going to be hard uh, for for us to, you know, kind of exploit their defense. But, um, you know, I'm sure, you know, just, you know, my ability to improvise and, you know, the guys around me ability to improvise will, you know, kind of work something out. <laughs> well, the Irish have managed to work something out many times. Getting lucky on a couple occasions on the way to a perfect 12 in a regular season. We'll hear more from Golson and his teammates tomorrow at Media Day out at Sun Life Stadium. We'll have live reports at 6 and 11. For now, reporting live from Miami at the BCS National Championship game, Joe Whalen, News Channel 15 Sports. Clint? Thanks, Joe. We're getting to wear the short sleeve shirts. Very jealous. Hey, we're going to have more on Notre Dame throughout the next few days. As Joe said, it all culminates with a half hour special on Monday night, perfectly Irish, airing at 7 o'clock Monday. We'll focus on the Summit City connection in South Beach. Of course, we're talking about Tyler Eifert, Johnny Goodman, and Tony Springman. We're going to hear from them and their families Monday on Wayne TV. Well, Shirley,